Hello and welcome to the CFD Basics with OpenFoam Screencast. Today I would like to show you how to prepare a simulation of a flow uh, over backward facing step with OpenFoam using various turbulence models. Firstly, we need our simulation geometry and condition. I use the conditions described in this article uh, for Reynolds number equal to 800. So this was our geometry and this will be our reference case. Uh, from this picture we can see that our reference height, a uh, reference length to com compute Reynolds number uh, is equal to 1 and the Reynolds number is equal to 800. So we can compute, from this we can compute velocity inlet velocity of our flow. I will use the Python console to compute it. We know that Reynolds number is given by velocity times uh, characteristic length divided by kinematic uh, viscosity. After we transform the equation we receive that velocity is equal to Reynolds number times viscosity divided by reference length in our case the length is equal to 1, so we have to multiply the Reynolds number times uh, viscosity, which is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 5. And we receive this uh, velocity. And this is our inlet velocity. Now we can close this uh, Python shell and prepare, prepare our uh, simulation case files. How we do it? Uh, in OpenFOAM we usually find uh, the tutorial file that is similar to uh, what we want to simulate, copy it and modify it to our needs. In this case we will use PimpleFOAM so we must uh, look after look uh, for the simple form tutorials and copy one of the simplest uh, uh, simplest uh, tutorial pits daily so we can write it's incompressible solver using Reynolds averaging and we want to name it for example step k epsilon Because this Pitts Daily tutorial is computed using K epsilon. Firstly, we use this model to compute our flow, and then we switch, switch the model to K omega SST. So, as you can see, I prepared a block mesh dict for you. We'll. Uh, <coughs> paste this block mesh dict into the description. The important thing to uh, notice here is that we have following boundaries in our case. Walls, inlet, outlet and front and back. We are trying to model two-dimensional flow as you can see here on the Z direction, there is only one element, so open form will treat our case our, as two-dimensional. Because of that, we have to insert this front and back boundary condition, which uh, type is empty, so open form won't solve anything on front and back of our model. So let's copy this uh, block mesh dict into our case and get generate the mesh. Now let's change the directory. Go uh, to the, the boundary files case. in uh, zero uh, directory. Our now we can generate our mesh using block mesh. Uh, command, but we won't be able to see this mesh right now. Why? 
The boundary files in our zero directory are adjusted to pits daily, which had a bit different boundaries. Let's see it. Let's see them. In this zero directory, we have epsilon, k, nut, nu tilde, p and u boundary files. Let's see epsilon. We see that here we have inlet, outlet, upper wall, lower wall, and front and back boundaries. We don't want upper and lower wall. In our case, we have only walls boundary condition. So let's delete one of these and change lower wall, lower wall to walls. Another thing that we want to change here is the values of epsilon for this case. Uh, in our case, we have a much lower velocity, much smaller velocity, and because of that, uh, the epsilon nu tilde k will change. How? Let's compute it. We can use uh, various uh, tools over the internet, but I think that most suitable for open form is the one given by Wolf Dynamic. I will link uh, this, uh, this site in the description. And as you can see, we want to compute turbulence va variables from turbulence intensity, eddy viscosity ratio, uh, inlet velocity and kinematic viscosity. So they are given here. And from here we have K, Epsilon and the, the Omega. So let's paste this uh, turbulence dissipation ratio into our, our file. I am using Vim, but uh, if you want, you can use any other any other text editor, for example, Sublime Text, Nano, or uh, Gedit. So we are done with o uh, Epsilon. Now we want to save it and change the remaining files. Next is key K. And it will be equal to the to this value. And we want to delete one of the, these boundaries and rin, uh, rename this one to walls. And we want to do the same with all these boundaries. What with a new uh, node boundary condition? It's the turbulence viscosity and we specified that our eddy viscosity ratio is 10. So nu tilde, uh, nu, nu t will be 10 times larger than our nu which is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the minus 5. And once again, we want to remove this one and rename this one. Uh, for this time, we won't need uh, new tilde, so we can remove this, uh, this file. But if you want to use Palart Almara's uh, turbulence model, you want to have this file. With pressure, we only want to remove this one and rename this one boundary and for velocity 
first we need to change the inlet value and once again remove and rename we are all almost ready to run our simulation for now we can see our mesh using as always parafoam we, we have to go back to our, our main directory and now we can uh, use uh, parafoam to see how our mesh and boundaries look like so this is our mesh the cells look like this here uh, we don't have any boundary layer as for the boundaries here we have inlet the gray boundaries are walls and here far away the green one is outlet so let's close this uh, power view this window we are almost ready to start the simulation, but we have to adjust our uh, control dict in system directory. We want to change the end time, the delta t, and write, in, write interval. So let's change it to 3000, delta t to uh, 0 0.01 and write inter interval to 5 seconds so uh, our, our results will be saved uh, uh, after each 5 seconds of uh, computed time and we will use adjust time step max current will be ex equal to 5 we can save it and start our simulations using uh, pimple foam For such a simple case, this simulation time is very slow. So how we can change it? We can use the uh, parallel computing. So let's stop the simulations. We have to create control, uh, the compose paradigm in our system directory. We can use a new utility called foam get and we want to get the compose par dict the second one it will be paste into our system directory so we can edit it we will be using four four processors and we want to use the scotch method to decompose our domain so now we can run the compose part to divide our case and we can run our simulation in parallel and now it computes in it computes much faster after a few minutes our simulation are complete so now we can visualize our results we have two options to do it because we uh, computed our uh, conduct con conducted our simulation in parallel we don't have uh, our results as a whole but divided for each of the processors used for calculations so we can uh, reconstruct our results by using command uh, command reconstruct root par and for example latest time and this will reconstruct our latest time step as you can see or much uh, much convenient option is to use uh, paraform 
in built-in mode. Let's see. We see that we have only one time step here, but if we switch to the composed case, now we have much more time steps. And we can see our flow. Let's visu visualize our streamlines by, str by using Stream Tracer. Change this resolution to 200, this uh, to a line going through in the middle of the vortex. For example, uh, six and six apply, and after a while we can see our vortex. We want to add axis that we can compare our results. Change to two-dimensional mode. And we can see that our vortex uh, reattachment zone is in after uh, five meters, after uh, six meters from the from the start of the step. Let's compare it to our our reference in uh, in the article. You can see that for this uh, these parameters, the recirc recirculation uh, reattachment zone. We can see that for our that in our simulation the reattachment zone is uh, the reattachment is happening much much more earlier than uh, in this article. So we want to check another turbulence model and see how it will it will work for this case. How to do it? Let's close this window. Let's go back to our terminal. We want to copy this case and change the turbulence model to uh, K omegas SST. So, so let's go back to our power parent directory and uh, copy the case. We can copy whole K epsilon directory, but it contains many files. So we create a new directory and copy selected uh, directories from K epsilon. So. and copy zero constant and system directory. And go to the step K omega assist uh, directory. Now uh, we want to change the turbulence model from k epsilon to k omega SST. Well, uh, where we can do it? In the constant turbulence properties uh, file. So let's open it and change k epsilon to k omega SST. Now we can try to run our simulations. Let's run the pimple foam command. It tells us, this error tells us this, the, that the keyword world is, in, is undefined in our system FO schemes. So from where we can get it? We can use the foam info utility to read uh, where the k omega SST turbulence in model is used in which tutorials. So we will use a option so it will show us every tutorial. We need to select the k omega SST base because this model is used both in less and in RAS. Uh, turbulence modeling. So this one, and we will uh, use files from incompressible simple foam motorbike.
I know that uh, simple form is uh, steady state uh, solver, but uh, in case of changing turbulence model, it doesn't matter. We only copy the settings uh, uh, of model, not uh, the settings of the solver. So open a new terminal, go to this uh, to this directory. So we copy it. Change directory, paste. It's uh, located in FO schemes. And we will copy it and paste into our FO schemes. So, can we now uh, just start our, our simulation? Let's see. Now, uh, the solver tells us the, that it can't find file uh, 0 omega. In this, in this file, uh, the boundary and uh, initial condition for omega uh, variable is, uh, is, uh, are described. In k epsilon turbulence model, we used uh, k and epsilon variables. And in uh, k-omega SST model, we are using the k and omega uh, variables. So we need another uh, file describing the boundary conditions uh, for omega in our, in our zero directory. And we can take it from this motorbike case. So let's go to the zero directory here and copy this copy or just uh, copy the file or just uh, mm, the text inside to our to our k omega SST. let's make omega copy and paste and now we have to adjust this uh, the file to our case so we want to have inlet outlet walls and front and back so copy the outlet we can use this to rename it and change the type lower wall we will change it to walls and one of the outlets to inlets. Uh, the type of inlet boundary condition is always, in almost all cases, fixed value. But what is the value of our, in, uh, of our internal field? Once again, we'll, we will check the values from our Wolf Dynamics calculator. So the specific turbulent dissipation will be equal to 0 0.0036. So let's copy it and uh, change it here to uniform, not for not uh, turbulent omega, but the exact value. And uh, we have also to remove this one. And now we are done with this, with this file. Inlet, outlet, walls and front and back. So let's save it, go back to our main directory and start the simulation. Now, the open fo fo uh, foam uh, doesn't know how to solve the, the, for example, divergence of omega because it's the part of the equations. So we have to define it in FO schemes. Also, uh, open foam don't, want, don't know what is the tolerance of our omega. So we have to define it in our FV solution for the, the file.
Let's edit FV schemes. You can just change it to Nutilla to Omega, Let's save it and change the uh, and add the Omega here and here. Save it and try to run our case. Now it just should work. Once again, we see that everything's fine. So we want to paste, uh, pa pa uh, pause it and decompose it once again. And we can run it, run, run it in parallel. After a while, simulation ended, and we once again can, can compare our results from the results shown in the article. So, once again, we will use Parafoam in built-in mode. Open it. Apply. A decomposed case, apply. And here, change it to velocity, uh, select the latest time step, and then draw the streamlines. Once again, the same point, resolution equal to 200. <coughs> And we see that we have the recirculation re zone, reattachment zone here, and now we will draw the access grid. And it's equal to the vortex reattaches after x meters. So once again, it doesn't looks, look like something we have here. I was wondering why, and then I checked how this uh, Reynolds number is defined. R-E-D, as we can see here, takes the whole domain into account. So we are we calculated uh, the flow for Reynolds number two times smaller because we didn't take two meters but one meter we calculated this uh, smaller Reynolds number and velocity so so we should look on this figure B describing the flow for Reynolds number equal to uh, 400 I know that it doesn't look the same. Uh, what may be the results of that? Firstly, in this article, uh, Mr. Biswas was using he was using uh, simple uh, algorithm, so he conducted steady state simulations. Another thing, he could use a, a different grid, and uh, he could use different turbulence model, or maybe he didn't model turbulence at all. So, now we can say that our results shown here look similar to this result, to figure B, then to figure D. But we can say that flow patterns are very similar, are the same. So we can say that we conducted our simulations correct. So, thank you for watching and goodbye.